what's good youtube it's your girl kid and i'm back with another video in today's video it is all about my post playmaker build which in my opinion is the best big man build in nba 2k21 next gen this build can literally do it all whether it's from passing bringing the ball up down the court dunking and scoring in the paint and you can also defend the paint and play really really good defense and on top of all of that of course this build can shoot the three ball very very consistently so this is what the build looks like at 99 overall and in my opinion there is really no real weaknesses here like the attribute stats go crazy And this is what the bad setup looks like. So I get 22 finishing, 10 shooting, 23 playmaking, and 26 defensive badges. Now these are just how my badges look. Sometimes I do switch them up depending on what well, I switch up my playmaking and my defensive badges based on what I'm playing and who I'm playing with. All right, so with this gameplay that you guys will be seeing in the background, this is some gameplay, some footage of a rec game that me and one of my friends, Billy, uh, shout out to my boy, Billy Buckets. He is a Twitch streamer, so y'all make sure y'all check him out. Check out his Twitch. Y'all go drop him a follow. I also stream on Twitch as well, so if y'all want to see me playing 2K Live or anything like that, y'all make sure y'all follow me on Twitch at it's kid underscore. But back to this gameplay, so it was just me and him and 2k gave us one random and two ais and we were going up against this squad right here and this is just some great gameplay and some great clips that you will see why i say this build can literally do it all i can iso with this build i can make great passes with this build and i can just literally have my way in the paint like this build is unstoppable because it's a power four like if you try to compare the post playmaker build comparing that to the post facilitator the center version of this build the post playmaker build is way better it has the speed and the main thing it has the shooting ability because the power i made my build six nine and since i made him a six nine power forward i am still able to get all of the great jump shot bases that those center builds and builds that are taller than six nine cannot get so that is one of the main advantages i can get my shot off a lot quicker compared to other shooting center builds but all in all this is an all around big man build any team anybody would love to have a build like this on their team because of all the playmaking badges that you can get you will be a great asset to your team because you can get the playmaking takeover where you you know you can boost your team's attributes you can literally do it all literally do it all and it is a walking triple double machine i get triple doubles on a consistent basis when i play in the rig it doesn't matter if we're going up against a full squad a comp team or what i nine times out of ten i'm going to get a triple double with this build it is a great rep grinding build as well because of all of the stats and stuff that you can get and all of the assists and the rebounds that you would get and some of you may be concerned about like the height difference like trying to guard and go up against taller builds and stuff in the paint but that's where that strength comes into play because if you paid attention in the in the beginning of the video when i showed my physical stats on this build i do i did upgrade my strength on this build and so we know with 2k in the contact dunks it's going to still happen but it does not happen as much as long as you know how to really uh 
play inside and paint defense. This game was pretty crazy. Like it was very, it got very intense. I cannot even lie because we were just a three man team going up against these people and they were really trying their butts off. I can't even lie, but we were trying our butts off too because I honestly wanted to prove my point that, hey, we could beat these guys. Like, you know, they're not doing anything special and me feeling like I could do anything with this build. I'm always, always up for the challenge. But this build is great, especially for all the rec players out there. If you play a lot of rec, this is the perfect build for you. If you're thinking about making a build to grind rep, or if you were just thinking about making a big man build, this is the best big man build in the game right now. Right now, this build is the best by far. You got the speed, you got the agility, you got the strength, you can still snag rebounds, you can score the ball with ease. It's just an all around goaded build. I don't even know what else to say. Like, you can do everything. The offense will literally run through you when you're playing on this build. And that's why I love it so much. That's why I love it so much. You can space the floor at this build. Or you can simply, hey, if your guard wants to do pick and roll all game, they can do that. This build can catch lobs. It can consistently score in the paint. Or, you know, you can spot up at the hash. You can spot up at the mid-range, whatever. This build can score on the floor no matter what. And that's why I love this build. But that's pretty much it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure you leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel if you are new. And don't forget to turn on those post notifications. Now, if you guys do want a build video for this build specifically, just let me know in the comment section and I can upload that build video for you guys if you want to know exactly how I made this build. All you gotta do is just let me know. But thank you all for watching.